Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mangs, and after over two weeks, we are finally back with everyone's favorite Let's Play, Path of Radiance Maniac yes. Komodo! With uh, rolling boulders. Lovely. Hi, Mecca. I'm a big fan of the Rolling Stones, so I look forward to this map. <laughs> I'm a big fan of these Rolling Stones. Here, eat rock. Yeah, so you're welcome to chapter 25, Strange Lands. These are strange lands indeed. Um, they're very high lands. They have the high ground. <laughs> <They're fucked. laughs> Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're just gonna have to leave because they have the high ground. So by by definition, we cannot win this battle. Um, so there, this, this map has a very annoying gimmick. Um, one, there is rolling boulders, which come down to you. They deal 10 damage, I think, set, regardless of your defense. Some of them are AoE, some of them roll different ways. I think these boulders, they roll like this. And I think these boulders, like, just roll in a straight line. Yep. Um, there's also another annoying gimmick on this map. Since the enemy has the high ground, uh, all of your mounted units have their movement cut in half. So, Joffrey, I think he'll only be able to move, like, I don't know, four or five spaces? I'm not sure why, do you know? Do you remember? No, but if it's if it's a nine move, I assume it gets round down. I don't know. Do you get more move if you go, if you go downhill though? <laughs> you know that would sort of make sense, but I don't think they. I don't think so. I don't think they coded it that way. I think they just halved the movement. I don't think they can code that. I actually, I don't think it would make sense anyway, or they could justify not doing it because going downhill, you need to be very careful not to slip and stuff with your horse. So you could also say that like you also need to be very slow when going downhill. Exactly. So, um, <laughs> I did something, Mecca. <laughs> You switched two units. No, no, I did something. So I actually prepared a save state for this occasion. So oh, God. after, like, before I went to Argentina, I was kind of bored and I was just hanging around the base and I was like, I want to do this, but there's no way Mecha's ever going to agree to it because he's going to be really mad. So I just did it anyway and I saved. <laughs> so Should the XP larger to max level or something? <laughs> so this is how Khalil used to look. Uh... <laughs> That's okay. Let's just get a little now. <laughs> okay, that's a lot better. I dumped seven levels on it. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's not that. It's not as bad as I expected it to be. I was expecting like max level Arjo. She, she got um, she got one speed on every single level up. So oh, cool. she's super fast. She's faster than Soren right now. She's got twenty six speed now. The reason why I did this, aside from you know wanting Kalel to be on the, my team and be good, is the fact that. Right now, we have a lot of survivability in Oscar and Kieran. We got Joffrey, he's also pretty tanky. We get Largo in this chapter, who's also very tanky. What we need, really, is someone who can deal a lot of magic damage. Soren is mostly stuck running around healing because he's our only healer. So, very often, I won't really get a chance to attack with him. With Khalil, I now have a unit that can reliably one round certain units uh, because she pretty much doubles anything on this map and she has 23 magic. And I just wanted a good mate, so I, deci I decided, why not? Why not just, like, I had a thousand bonus experience, why keep it lying around? It's a pitfall to hoard, right? So, I think what you did was like, wow, this is a blonde sage, I'm just gonna give her seven levels, and then afterwards she'd try to, like, justify it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Mecha knows me too well. I mean, it's a, it's a bold strategy, we'll see if it pays off. I don't mind the theory behind it. It's not like anyone else really needs the levels at this point. No, I mean, the only one I could consider was, like, Ike, but... No. No. <laughs> no. No. So, chapter 25. Uh, this is a, an annoying chapter. The turn count requirement is 7, like uh, previously, but it, unlike previously, where we got 200 bonus experience, this time around we only get uh, 150, because fuck you, Maniac Mode. On the hard mode version of this map, you fight 27 enemies. On this map, you fight 46. That's nearly a doubling in enemy counts. And they're all promoted. For, for some funny reason, though, uh, the beast units are pretty shit. They're not, they're not promoted. So. Yeah, <laughs> look at them. They're really bad. <laughs> Path of Radiance making racist statements. Pretty much. So, uh, I'm gonna do the standard comparison. Pretty sure we need to do two frames. Actually, we might be able to get everyone in one frame. I think this is fine. This is fine. You'll get, like, a rough estimate of what it's all about. We'll do this. Alright. You'll get plenty of time to look at them. <laughs> So this is how the map looks on hard mode. Uh, I'm gonna leave it a while because people complain I take it away too quickly. All right, did you have a good look yet? Did you have a good look yet? All right, because this is how the map looks in maniac mode. It's fucking atrocious. Look at all these enemies. Um, so we got stealable physics. No, wait, wait. Um, Can I, I just say that I love the lagoons wagging their tails? 
What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's really cute, actually. Physic Staff. We got Blizzard Tomes. We got Lagoose Layers. Lagoose Axis. We got another Blizzard Tome. This map is going to be a lot of fun. Also, this guy, Rommel. He's a meme in Japan. He's got Cypher Art. I don't know why, but he's got cipher art. I mean, doesn't doesn't zombie Chrome have cipher art or zombie? Yeah, something? but but Chrom is at least a popular mainstream character, whereas this guy is just a random boss. Zombie Riss, zombie Riss. He's uh, he's a meme in Japan, I think, because he tends to charge down the cliff and get himself killed on the first turn, which is pretty easy to do because he's got a bolt axe. So yeah. I don't know why, but they really like him in Japan. That's cool. It gives me more thumbnails to work with, I guess. Um, he also has uh, resolve. Which can be a little bit scary, I guess, but not really, because he doesn't really end up doing all that much damage. Um, we got some new guys to talk about. Uh, let's start with uh, this guy. Joffrey! Joffrey, Joffrey, Joffrey. So, Joffrey. He is uh, the last paladin to join your club. So, we got another paladin in our club since we lost Titania. Wah, wah. Um, Sad. Joffrey's pretty good. He joins at a very high level. And his bases are all pretty darn good, even for Maniac mode. 18 strength, 19 speed. That's all right. Not not anywhere near level of Kieran or Oscar, but he's gonna be able to contribute anyway. Uh, he comes with the Brave Lance, which is cool. I guess I could have taken it off him, but just just didn't feel right, you know. Um, he can use bows, which is actually not terrible because we've got a lot of bows lying around not being used. I could just sell them, I guess. But it's much more fun to actually have a unit capable of shooting. So yeah, we finally got another Astrid, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Used for longbow. Oh wait. Uh, his growth rates are actually really good, and he also has Paragon, so it's pretty easy to give him the last 9 levels if you want him to cap out. And in Right in Dawn, he is pretty a pretty useful unit, so if we can like give him some transfer bonuses, I don't think we'll be able to do it in Maniac mode, but on Hard mode it's pretty easy because, again, that, that Paragon really accelerates his experience gain, and it's pretty easy to give him a couple of levels if you want to. Uh, he's got good uh, Lance rank, uh, he's got C and Bows, which is alright, allows him to use Killer Bow and Lagoose Bow at base, which is alright. And uh, he also has uh, bond supports with Kieran, Lucy, and Bastion. Well, that's not particularly useful, but the Kieran one might come in handy. And he's got some pretty good supports as well. He supports with Khalil, which is nice. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll maybe, maybe we'll do a Khalil Joffrey shipping. You never know. So star rating. I give Joffrey a three out of five stars. I think he's a perfectly serviceable pre promote. I think I don't think he deserves more than that because he comes so very late. It's sort of like a I don't know. It's not like you really need him at this point, but I'm gonna field him because I have no units left. <laughs> Well, Joffrey is the worst paladin, so I don't need another paladin at this point because I already I have like plenty of paladins. So oh, bad. right, okay, <laughs> right, right, right. But he can use bows, which is kind of unique because I never give bows to other paladins. So maybe he's like ten stars out of five or something. I don't know. So you got uh, got anything serious to say about Joffrey, or are you just gonna meme all day? <laughs> if you meme on mine, I can meme on yours. Okay, okay. so I don't know. I. From my experience, Joffrey is like, you can't expect him to one round kill everything and survive everything because that would be really broken if you just got a unit like that for free. But as long as you're reasonably careful, I think it can contribute just fine. And Paragon is really good. Uh, Night Ward usage is really good. Uh, really easy to use with Paragon. Great combo. I uh, love it a lot. Brave Lance, I would probably give to someone with higher strength if I could, but I don't know how much strength Oscar has. Hmm. Uh, but it's fine on him, I guess, to increase his offense and maybe prevent taking pre prevent from taking him some counters. You know what I meant. <laughs> you know oh, yeah. what I meant. He's um, he's all right. He's as good as you can expect for a free pre promote. So I say three stars is good. Right. And I actually think I will listen to you. Um, I actually think I mean, that's. Uh, how much strength does Oscar have then? Yes, a lot. Twenty five. Oh wow, that's sick. I don't know if he tooth goes with it though, but we'll see. I guess. Never hurts. If he doesn't double, this this might suck. But I don't know. We'll see. All you right. can always trade it around later. Yeah. Okay. So uh, next guy. Largo. So Largo, the only playable Berserker in this game, and the only character to not be available in Radiant Dawn, who was in Path of Radiance, which is, uh, I think that was a pretty dick move, because I think Largo's a pretty cool character. What about Dev Dawn? Alright, he's not there either, is he? Man, so racist. No. Um, so, Largo, he's a pre-promoted Berserker, his, ba his bases are pretty good, but not spectacular. Uh, I mean, like, he's, he's no Hawkeye, that's for sure. And he joins a lot later than Hawkeye. Even though I think they're actually the same base level, if I remember. Isn't Hawkeye level 7 a base? I think it might be like 6 or 8. Nah. So Largo, as a... 4 maybe? I don't know. Go has an <laughs> absolute buttload of hit points, but his defense and resistance are atrocious. It's 3 resistance. You can give him a pure water to help him out a little bit, but still. His hit points will melt away pretty darn fast. Like, you might think he's super bulky, but 10 defense at this point is really bad. That's like Khalil level. Uh, so, um... Uh, don't expect him to survive a lot. Now, uh, in the Japanese version, Berserkers do not get 15% additional crit. 
Uh, this, I say, would say hurt Largo a lot, because with the 50% crit boost, you can give him a Killer Axe, and he'll have like a 50% crit rate against most enemies. Here, it's going to be like down to 30-35%, which is not as great, so you can't really rely on those criticals as easily. He still hits pretty hard with 21 strength, but he's no Boyd, um, and he's also locked, completely locked to Axis, so he's for all intents and purposes just a Gimp Warrior in this run. And say what you will, will about bows, I think Boyd got a lot of use out of those bows when we actually used him. Um, Rest so, in peace, Boyd. Yeah. He's got a very quick support with Khalil, though, so that's sort of nice. They can really help each other out a lot. They also got a bond support with each other. And fun fact, if you cap out Largo, all of his caps will go to Khalil. You can't stack them, like, so if both Khalil and Largo maxes out skill, you won't get plus four skill to Khalil and Radiant Dawn, but if you somehow manage to get him up to level 20, it's easier to give Khalil transfer bonuses. But this is sort of a niche thing, and not a lot of people really take advantage of it. Um, I've heard so many com different conflicting stories about how Largo works in transfers. Have you verified this? Uh, no, I only know that uh, his, tr his transfers gets get tr transferred over to Khalil. That's all I know. Okay, have you ever tried it? Nope. I've heard people say it doesn't ha it doesn't happen at all. <laughs> I mean, Sesson Ser Seren is for it, so unless they are wrong, I don't know. But, um, so yeah, um... I don't really know what to say about Largo aside from that. I just gave him a 3 out of 5 star rating, but I'm wondering if he'd probably be closer to a 2 star unit, because I think Joffrey's better. But I'm not sure. I don't think Largo's bad enough to bump him down to 2 star territory. I guess we'll see how he works. Uh, giving him a Lagusax, he's probably going to be able to contribute a lot against the Lagusa this chapter, although they're pretty shit, so I don't think that's necessarily going to be very hard. But yeah, I'm probably going to use him because I don't have any units left. What do you have to say about Largo? <laughs> <laughs> I am inclined to give Largo two stars, because I think he is significantly worse than Joffrey, especially when it comes to durability. I think because of the high enemy density especially, it will be very hard to find safe places for Largo to keep attacking, so you're constantly going to have to shield him, and I think that doesn't work in his favor. Uh, even in hard mode, I don't really like him all that much, because he's just kind of frail compared to the other characters. It's not just defense and resistance, but he also hasn't built up any supports, so he can't dodge tank like someone like Oscar can. I think that really hurts him, but we'll see how many hits it takes him, to, you know, for him to go down. And he doesn't get doubled at least, so that's nice. I don't know if he doubles with 20 speed. I forgot what AS levels were. I like doubt it. I doubt it. I don't think he'll double then if you died it. So I, I like the location of the Lagoose guard on him because that probably helps him out a little bit. Yeah. But I still think he will die in like three hits, maybe four, and that's pretty bad. And the enemies are like 10 to one. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. You gotta kill all the enemies, so he might as well help you out, I guess. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, we can we look at the speed, like 18, 17, 17, 16, he doubles the tiger. Wow, three stars confirmed. Uh, almost doubles the warriors, if they had like, one extra His, his growths are good, so it could happen, I guess. Yeah, he has a 45% speed growth, so it might, might happen, but at this point, no one gets experience, so. Alright, All right. shall we play? Let's go. Let's play. Let's kill all the enemies. Let's kill. So yeah, as you can see right here, one, two, three, four. So it halves the movement, and it doesn't work the other way around, sadly. So, um, but I like uh, in this. Uh, it's pretty easy to like get Rommel down here. You can like use a flyer. Although I don't have my Sonic Serving Rip. Um, I did give Marsha the racism though, because you complained that she doesn't have weapons on her. So <laughs> she did have some pretty bad weapons on her. Like, yeah. Just our weapons and junk javelins. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna mark up the range web uh, enemies right here, so I don't walk right into a pitfall. Um, Although, oh, I, I must, I must, yeah, it's a lot of range. I'm cons contemplating trying to take one of them down early. Um, I also think Khalil has a Siege Tome, and I think she doubles. I'm just gonna check. Uh, Are you going to try to stay out of range of the boulders as well, or are you just gonna take him early on? <sighs> I don't think so. Um, I mean, they do only 10 damage. It's not really yeah. a big deal. Really. If I were you, I would probably just bait them early with, like, one unit, so they take the damage, and then you never have to worry about it again later on. Yeah, wow, was... so much damage, holy shit. Yeah, I, I forgot was... how good this guy is. <laughs> he is really good, yeah, he really is. He's pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Dev Don is simply amazing. Uh, I was thinking about, like, Khalil can actually really do well against these Feral ones with our Elfire, but she's also squishy as hell, so I'm not sure if I want to really put her up against anything. Also, I'm not sure why I put Kieran and Oscar in the back. They're super slow. <laughs> I think you swapped them around, too. I you did, had... didn't I? Oh my god. Yeah, you wanted Raisin in the front, I guess. I guess that makes sort of sense, but yeah, I'm just gonna kill this guy with Dev Don. I am actually, at this point, Probably going to oh wow nice one doesn't say doesn't save him any uses though sadly uh, I'm probably this at this point. I'm probably gonna trade the night ward around a little bit for the final level ups So once they've done levels up I'm probably gonna trade the night ward over to Oscar who's at 45 just you know to help out a little bit I could also do this, but I'm worried Largo will die Ah, uh, yeah, no, yeah, not, three not, four hits. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Maybe like I don't know shove shove Khalil or something 
Um, also I would have, uh, honestly be tempted to just kind of stay at the bottom for a little bit, because the further you go up, the more long-range shit you face. Yeah, just let these guys come to me, yeah? Yeah. Probably. I don't I'm, think all of them move, so... I don't think so either. I'm gonna move Olkop because there's physics days to steal. I'm gonna give him a pure water. Oh, it's gonna take forever for, before you get an opportunity to do that, I can tell you that much. <laughs> Probably, yeah. I think you do have a bonus experience requirement, so I guess you do have incentive to hurry. Seven turns, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna hard. I'm not gonna lose any units over it, but you know, I guess. <laughs> it says <laughs> confidently. Famous last words, yeah. I guess I can like send Marsh. I mean, she has the full guard. She doesn't really care about the ballistas. But I guess I can like try to snipe one of these. I, I guess you know what I can actually do. I can, uh, I can try to snipe this blizzard guy with Marsha. I think she she may one round him with the uh, with the uh, racism. I think she one rounded the sniper. I don't know. So oh, she wait, that was Khalil. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, also, she has Savior now. So she oh, cool. can uh, so she can rescue uh, units without any penalty. That's probably gonna come in handy at some point. I think Tibarn has it regularly. Yeah, I know he. Hmm. I forgot what it's like for him because I only really remember Path of Radiance or Radiant Dawn Tibarn. So yeah. I recently beat Path of Radiant or <laughs> I recently beat Radiant Dawn again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> So, some people commented that I should probably play like this more often, instead of playing like this, because it gives me more tunnel vision. What do you think about that? Why would you want more tunnel vision? No, like, play like, thi play like this instead of playing like this. Because this this gives you more tunnel vision. This Why would you want more tunnel vision? <laughs> Don't you understand the question, or are you <laughs> just fucking boring. with me? Ah, <laughs> oh, Mecca! Stop it! Oh, god damn it, Marsha. Oh! I mean, I would zoom out for the most part, yeah. Yes, damn it, Marsha, yes. Now, of oh, course, uh, the problem with this is that... Oh, what the hell? <laughs> this is great. The with it is the guy just straight up dies. Yeah. Uh, she can the bolt axe guy now. Oh, uh, I guess she can fly out. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Now, okay. um, there's another... No, this guy does not have a blizzard. Did she have the full guard? She has the full guard. Okay, yeah. Now I just gotta get racing out of there. Because this ballista definitely one-shots him. Ooh, I can, like, shove him out. Get oh. out of here, Raisin. Oh, no, wait. No, no. I'm gonna have to do this. Like so. Well, you don't want to push him into a corner? Why not? <laughs> I hear that's a pitfall. Uh, I actually think... Uh, I'm gonna use... No, wait. Stefan dies, doesn't he? To uh, what? Uh, I don't know. To, to, every, to everything? I think it can take, like, one hit. I don't know how much he would... How many, how many enemies can attack Stefan if he goes there? Actually... I think, honestly... Yeah, you're right. They're... Not, hmm? It's not that less bulky than the... Uh, Largo is all things considered, right? No, I still gotta shield him a little bit though, as much as I can. So I'm gonna put Largo here. And I'm gonna use a pure water because he has three rests. Now he has ten, yay. And I'm gonna put Khalil here in front of Rayson. She has a lot of extra levels now. Uh, also, I gave her the arm scroll so she can use the tornado tome now. Yay. Who else who else are we gonna give arm scrolls to at this point? No one. Missed. Oh wait. Um Jill. Um, um mm, Astrid. Yeah, exactly. Um. So Joffrey, uh, let's just give him a Lagusa. Uh, let's just give him a Silver Lance, why not? I don't see any two range enemies that are gonna attack him. No, just cats at this point. There we go. Kitties. So, like, theoretically you should split up, but I don't see why you should. Actually, you should. Actually, I need to do that, don't I? If because... you want a 7 turn, you need to split up, but I don't think you can 7 turn if you do split up. The no, units are just too bad. <laughs> oh, AoE damage. Now, Stefan, why didn't you dodge the boulder? Such a, such a bad swordmaster, am I right? Maybe before racing gets killed by boulders. Oh, you can do this while while the enemy turns. That's kind of cool. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> God, I love ballistas. Those are amazing. Oh, ballistas, man. There you go. Perfect. Look at how good wow. Joffrey is. I think he actually doubles this guy. No, wait, nope. he doesn't. Th he, oh, 20 experience. It's like 19 speed, dude. 20 experience for a round of combat. I love it. All right, here we go. Can't stop the rock. Danced up. The Is that the same sound as shoving? I think so, yeah. I <laughs> think such so. a funny sound. Can't stop the rock. Hey, wait a minute. If you get over to the boulders before they do, can you shove them? Uh, I know you can in Radiant Dawn. <laughs> I do wonder. I got a one. <laughs> They're not really good at using their boulders, though. I think they just activate them the moment they can do some damage with them. Exactly. If there's even one unit, they will go for it. And it's like... If there's no units in line, then they will wait until there is someone in line. Which is how you forget about them, by staying out of range for all the time, and then suddenly you forget, and then someone is in range and they die. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gotten killed by a boulder, but the 10 damage does... No, what? Did she just miss two silver lances? Really? <laughs> I mean, 10 damage is more than a lot of enemies manage to deal to, like, Oscar or Kieran. I guess. 
Oh, Crit. good. Good, good, good use of the. Oh my God, he could have procked Astra. He could have procked Astra and lost like all of his uses. <laughs> Gotta be more careful with Stefan, man. Thank you. Uh, you're a big dick. Holy shit. Just injured his friend. <laughs> so much damage. I know. Wish he had fortified to just get rid of all this. Oh, I should have positioned Raisin more wisely so he heals up all the guys. Oh yeah, he has like a quad heal. I'm so out of it, man. It's been two weeks. Yeah, same here. Oh no. Okay, wait. I can probably kill this guy with Marsh as well. Wait, one, two... I can't count the tiles because I don't have the hexes on. I should probably do that. Does this game have like that crit option that Shadow Dragon has? It does, but it looks so ugly. Speaking it... of ugly... <laughs> oh, <definitely. laughs> oh, wow. Oh, right, he negates the res, doesn't he? He negates like, res. Res, res. He negates res, oh, and then he regets... Because Luna's not really to re negate defense. It's like negate defenses. That makes sense. Yeah. Does it negate or half in this game? I think it's half, right? Ha halves, halves. Yeah, so halves resistance weak. or defense, depending on. So technically, if you gave Luna to a mage, uh, that mage would it would work on a mage if you could give it, because I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So Flare yeah. and Luna are effectively just the same skill, I think. Oh yeah, I suppose that's why you can't give them <laughs> Luna. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's yeah. no point to it. Um, okay. I feel like, I guess full Luna is like kind of broken sometimes. Uh, does it? Uh, that's how it works in Fire Emblem Four, isn't it? Four and five. Four and five, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, and it always hits too, I think. Uh, uh, I think it's rolled after hit. Oh my god, I can. But will she die? Is this I still don't... Iron Man? No, it's not. <laughs> okay, do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do it. Honestly? Actually, I think she survives just because she doesn't kill the enemies. So there's not that many that can attack her. Yeah, and she has full guard, so she takes no damage from from any of these guys. And this is like one. This is one less blizzard guy. Of course, the boss will attack her, but he deals magic damage. Yeah, he doesn't do shit. And she has a lot of rest, so this is fine. Mm -hmm. Um, all right. So also, like no enemies moved. I think <laughs> like almost no enemies that almost, were in range. Almost none. Yeah. So if I if I dance with Race in this turn for Volk, then I think I can probably. Young myself a physics stat. Yeah, it... Very ambitious for this turn. I guess. Look at yeah. all these enemies. There's a lot of enemies, aren't there? All right, yeah. Ike, let's do it. Uh, Vakati time? Wow. Oh, he has the Vakati. Cool. He does, but he actually does more damage with his five star sword. Yeah, because it's uh, five star sword is for five star units. I actually think we can probably. Uh... Oh wow, these guys are bulky. Holy shit. Uh, he can sword... tank that place if Oscar is next to him. He can. He can. Yeah, easily. He can do it without Oscar too. Oh, they have like 18 hit, what the hell? Um, <laughs> if, so I use my, if I use my Steel Sword, will I kill them? Um, do math for me, uh, please. Uh, 24, you don't kill that one. And 26, you kill the other one, I think. The one with, yeah. Because you do 26 one? twice, yeah. Unless oh. he gets healed. Oh, he, will, the, he will get healed. Bishop. Uh, yeah. I mean, we gotta, we gotta conserve our forges yeah. a little bit, don't we? Just attack. The Just keep attacking until everything is dead. That's Even if it takes forever. That's what I'm gonna do, Mika. Don't worry. <laughs> I was playing Warriors. And yeah? I was just, did, did you unlock Takumi when playing Warriors? Takumi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. Made, I, made, a, I made a shit post about him, if you've seen it. Oh, that was Takumi. Okay, so he... Um, sometimes when he does his Warrior special, I think, he goes like, So weak! <laughs> it's so funny. So weak! <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Lagoospo, let's go! Fuck! Joffrey is not very good at Lakus. Two experience for missing. This is great. Can't you kill the guys that are like close to Hulk and Raisin? Ah, uh, probably a good idea. Yeah. The yeah. other ones can be blocked off. Oh, I can kill this guy with Volk. And I can kill yeah. this guy with Stefan. Let's see, Iron Blade. Can I kill? No, I can't. Fuck. Astra, you... let's go. Why are you so bad, Stefan? Why are you so bad? I guess he can. Uh... You no, train him enough, man. You didn't give him enough XP. Pocket. Oh, now you go ahead and Astra. Okay. I told you was gonna Astra. <laughs> I love how he keeps attacking after he's dead. Like, stop it, Stefan. He's dead. Isn't like beating dead horses and things kind of your thing? <laughs> it just, is. He's just doing what he knows best. Nice one. Speed. Now he doubles. Yeah, he doubles everything anyway. Double store masters. Okay, so I'm, I'm probably gonna use Kalil to kill this guy because I think she yeah, fry him. She doubles. Look at that. Actually, yeah, I should I should attack one on full health. Look at that. No, you should kill the one that's a threat. <laughs> uh, or everyone's the threat here, dude. Everyone's the threat. Why? You can block these guys. Um, I guess. Not the hawk, but the hawk is not a threat. It's okay. I'll kill him. Oh. So... I can't dance for Khalil. Uh, I can. Well, I guess you'd have to, like, revote, like, a bunch of things. Remember, he doesn't have Kanto. Oh, fuck. That's right. 
I just remembered. Um, yeah, I guess I should probably make sure I can use Oscar and Kieran here. It's probably a good idea. Oh, look at that! The little 69! <laughs> 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 Didn't even think about it. Just smash that A button. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Alright. Uh, yeah, I should sure. kill the warrior, man. Why not? I can kill the warrior with Kieran. It's fine. Okay, sure. There we go. And, I don't uh, know how much HP the warrior has. It's insane. Not enough. No, I mean the other warrior. The one that's like near your units. So this is what I'm actually gonna do. Oh wait, no. Um. This one I'm actually gonna do. Ignore Mecha attack warrior. Oh, there oh my God! There's a red warrior there. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I, I know you're colorblind, but this is pretty bad. Oh I mean, God. if you can teleport the enemies in crimson, you can do this, right? Uh, I can't, polax. can't steal the polax. <laughs> oh, it's a polax. I'm we got is here, I guess. We can use Devdon. Two Sorens also work. That's not just blocking a point, I guess. Oh, that also works. Pitfall! Pitfall. It's great. I got I got a dance for Raisin in case he gets hit by more boulders. And there's also yeah, our... dance for Raisin. <laughs> got a heal Raisin. You know what I was trying to say. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Oh my God. Here we go. Here Speed. we go. Here Speed. we go. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Everything. I think he just capped. I think he just capped. Yes, nope. he capped strength. Cap strength. Oh, I thought you meant speed. <laughs> so I think Me uh, Mecha, I just call it Mecha again. I think it's. I, <laughs> I think wonder it's, why. I think his speed cap is 28, so. Yeah. Yeah, he's not going to cap speed. He strength strength for transfer for the win. <laughs> why in the fuck not? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's plus two strength for, for Dumba. Uh huh. Can't hurt, right? Time to bait more. Uh, Things, mm. boulders. So, I think at this point, uh, this guy is probably not gonna do much, but I don't want him to hit, kill Raisin, so I don't know what we do here. We could like dance for Ike, maybe? Dance for someone to like block him, I guess. I mean, this is a safe zone for him, so I guess uh, we can dance for Ike just to kill those warriors a little bit faster. Is that a Swordmaster or a Sniper? Sniper, but he can't reach for whatever reason. Oh, uh, yeah, so because the warriors are in the way. Oh, you're right, that's a. Ooh, saved me oh. there. Saved me there. That was literally a pitfall. Um, I guess we can. No, that's a bad idea. Let's have Kanto. Just dance for no one. <laughs> dance for Denfat. Have him blocked away. I guess that works. I mean, what's it? What, what's what's the thing that's attacking him in that spot next to Defton? I don't get it. Uh, the 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 Hawkeye probably. Oh, the Hawkeye. The Hawkeye. The Hawkeye, yeah. It just moves. What if you move Folk out of the way? Uh, I guess. There we go. It spot. works. It works. Yeah. And then we'll dance for Devdon and like throw a javelin at one of the warriors to kill him. Uh -huh. Cracker, I guess. I think Folk can get attacked by Sniper plus Ballista or something, or Sniper plus Hawk. So maybe we'll just go do this then. Your Folk is promoted, right? He is. He is. Prom it. He is promoted. Look yeah. at. Look, look at. He doesn't even. He doesn't even need the. The silver yeah, actually. I suggest need... you conserve the flame lance because I suspect that thing is going to be very useful for later on. Yeah, but and you can I might buy... be a bit too late for him to say that. You can you can <laughs> buy <laughs> you can buy silver, so they're not super valuable anymore. Except for the fact that I have no fucking money. Yeah. Ba -ba -ba -bum -ba -ba. I know there's oh. at least one more chapter that has like a oh, bunch of lagoons. Status? No, purges. Really? Yeah, that oh. did look like a status staff for a bit. Yeah, it did. All right, perfect. Oh, cool. He's not going to heal. More physics for me. Oh, that's a weird movement order. It is. Really weird. All right, here we go. Oh, no, Stefan. Oh, shit. That's right. I keep forgetting that's not a fucking ballista. Is that a boulder? It's a boulder, oh, yeah. Really oh, cool. I would give so much to exchange racing with uh, with uh, Stefan this turn. But I mean, you can still move turn. Stefan out of, out of there. Yeah, but if I had it at the start of the turn, I would have healed up all those guys. Oh, that would have been pretty funny, yeah. Grommel! Grr. <laughs> <laughs> impressive. Oh, very, oh, here Your attacks are very impressive. You must be proud. <laughs> He's like, what? Can you please stop? <laughs> Devdon is stronger than 10 boulders. <laughs> <laughs> Devdon takes boulders like 10 men. <laughs> it takes 10 boulders. There you go. What's the this? What the? Oh my that's god. That's a very long ballista. That's a, I think that's literally a long ballista. Yep. I think so too. That they're a thing. What, the, 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 what is that guy doing? Oh, he's mo he's going for Marsha. Yeah, it's like oh, Marsha has the closest. Oh, Marsha, stop team. killing wow. people! Marsha, no! Marsha, no! I think she's okay. She have a silver lance. She. Oh my god! Why didn't I just That's give her an iron? <laughs> to be honest, she would have been in death range anyway because these warriors, which I somehow missed. Come on, dodge, 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 dodge! Oh, this is good. Oh, I think, I think don't this, kill! I think this don't doesn't kill. kill her. It doesn't. Don't, don't kill! Don't, don't kill. kill! Don't kill! There's still that hawk uh, though. Oh, hawks don't do shit. I guess not. I think. 
I don't I think so. I forgot how weak they are in this game. Uh, they're pretty shit, but I, she has three hit points left. Three? Wow, that's not a whole lot. It's not. Oh, this boulder's <laughs> gonna wreck us. Strata, 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 strategic boulder. <laughs> strategic boulder, yeah. This is gonna get the warrior killed, I think, because I think Ike does more than 10 damage, but if Marsha dies, it doesn't matter. We shall see. In about 10 minutes. Jebdon is stronger than 10 minutes. There you yep. go. He might actually want to just he might how actually fucking piercing he can be. Oh my god, he did it. <laughs> he fucking did it. You know you're about to restart when this happens. Oh yeah, this is a total restart. We're gonna reset. We're gonna reset, guys. Marsh is gonna get killed by a fucking bird. It's gonna happen. It's gonna do it again. No? Okay. Bird's gonna kill horse. He's gonna do it again. I think this is a kill. Oh no. Oh, this is good. It's not a kill. Leaving it for other guys. Oh no. Leaving it for Volk. Oh no. No, no, no. Marsha, no. 